Peace, it's Mr. G from the Mr. G's Hard Truth Show. And today we are going to compare street homicides, all homicides, not just gang related, to fentanyl overdoses in the US. Here's a breakdown based on the most recent data. Street homicides, the FBI's 2023 Uniform Crime Report estimates 20,000 homicides annually in the US with 75% that's 15,000 involving firearms, many occurring in public spaces, streets, parks, etc. The CDC's 2023 data aligns, reporting 19,789 homicides with 80%, that's 15,831 classified as street or urban context violent deaths based on location coding. Homicides are concentrated in urban areas, example given, like Chicago, Philadelphia, Baltimore, with black and Hispanic males aged 15 to 34, disproportionately affected. Fentanyl overdoses. The CDC's 2023 data reports 105,007 drug overdose deaths with 72,776, that's 69% involving fentanyl or its analogs. Fentanyl deaths cut across demographics, but peak among males aged 18 to 44, often in urban and rural areas with high drug trafficking, poly substance use, fentanyl with cocaine, meth, or alcohol is common. Driving, 50% of cases, unlike homicide, overdoses or more evenly distributed geographically. But surging areas like the Appalachia, the Northeast and the West Coast cities. Comparison, raw numbers of 2023 street homicides are 15,000 to 15,831 deaths. Fentanyl overdoses range from 72,000 776 deaths ratio fentanyl overdoses cause 4.5 to 4.8 times more deaths than street homicides and on that note be kind travel in harmony and be sure to educate somebody today hit the like the subscribe and share peace